In this video, we are going to see how to set up basic parameters for doing a nozzle FEM analysis. To go on the left hand top side, the first thing that this window asks for is the nozzle name. You can give an, any informative name that you have decided, like if the vessel is a heat exchanger 2103 and the nozzle number is N4, you type it all in here. The next thing is to decide what type of calculation are we going to perform. Is it an FEM calculation of nozzle and branch connection? Or is it just a simple calculation as per WRC 107 or 297? Depending on what type of calculation you select, the next two options or next three options are either highlighted so that you can select them or they become non-selectable. So if you are in FEM calculation, you have an option to select the calculation of allowable loads to calculate the stress intensification factor and calculation of stiffnesses and flexibility factors. If you just want to perform WRC 107 calculation, in that case the only thing available as for calculation is calculation of stiffness and flexibility factors. For the sake of this video, I'm going to select FEM calculation of nozzle and branch connection. The other thing to notice is when you select calculation as per WRC, on the right hand side for the location of the nozzle and the loads that are available, the parameters and values change. To have a look, let's have a look at this. When I select FEM calculation, for the nozzle and branch type, there are all the different types of uh, nozzles available and there is a barrel option as well which is not available when we select WRC 107 calculation. Next thing is when we select the FEM calculation, we got four different types of nozzle locations available to us. It can be a radial nozzle, it can be a tilted nozzle, it can be in section plane nozzle or it can be an offset nozzle. When we select WRC 107 only one type of nozzle available to us is the radial nozzle. The next thing to have a look at is the load. If we select FEM calculation we have two options. The loads are either as per the shell orientation or they are as per the nozzle orientation. If we go just select WRC 107, we do not get those two options available to us. Let's say we select FEM calculation of nozzle and branch. We would like to select what is the allowable load. Now we would like to select what is the allowable load at the edge of the nozzle. That means at the edge of the nozzle here, not at the junction. The reason for that is most of the piping stress analysis software they terminate their piping model at the flange or the first available flange or the weld of the nozzle. Now in pipe stress analysis software we can model this bit here and then go and model it uh, or get the nozzles and the allowable loads or the imposed loads at the junction side of it but in normal or general standard practice it is available or the f forces and moments imposed by the piping on the nozzle are available at either the flange or the first weld that is available. The next option is calculation of stress intensification factors. So if this nozzle is on a on a say on a branch uh, so if that nozzle is a branch on a header pipe here then we would like to calculate what are the stress intensification factors. That after we calculate the SIFs, we can take those SIFs and input them in pipe stress analysis program like Startprof and carry out the pipe stress analysis. The next option available is calculation of stiffness and flexibility factors. This when you click on uh, the option it gives you the stiffness and the flexibility factor of this junction here. So it is the junction of nozzle and the shell. That is required 
for again pipe stress analysis program. Now uh, if you don't calculate this and if in pipe stress analysis program you assume that the nozzle is a rigid location, in some cases the um, the loads or the allowable loads or the imposed loads that you get from pipe stress analysis program are too high. But if you add the stiffnesses and flexibility factors of that nozzle, the loads imposed on them become a bit lower. Again, engineering judgment has to be used for this thing, but those are the options available to you as a standard options for doing a nozzle FEM analysis.